She's a mother of one son. She currently resides in the city of Maryland. Thank you, Dan. <laughs> Thank you. I'm giving an honor to God for my being here to um, Sister Hilliard. Um, I got the information to um, do this, and I'm grateful. Thank you. Um, I can talk like my daddy can. I won't be here for you long. Um, and all those accolades mean so much to me because um, I have been through some circumstances, but through it all, I have, with the blessings of my parents who have taught me, I've been able to raise a very responsible young man that I can't even begin to say how proud of him that I am. So Eric, please stand up. He's grown, but I can't let him go just yet. He don't understand why, but I always tell him you're only as grown as you are, or you can afford to be. So as long as you're in my bank account in my pocket, it's what mom says. And I'm 41, and I'm still in mom and daddy pocket, so it's what they say. But I wanted to come before you all this morning to speak on um, what is a good mother. Webster defines a mother as a woman in relation to a child or children to whom she has given birth, or in 2013, one who she rears, a child whether she has birthed it or not, with care and affection. She can be called mother, mama, mammy, mom, mom, mommy, mom, or mommy. Any woman can be a mother, but what is a good mother? A good mother teaches her children, as it states in Deuteronomy 6, 5 through 9, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your might. And these words that I command to you today shall be on your heart. You shall teach them diligently to your children and shall talk of them when you sit in your house and when you walk by the way and when you lie down and when you rise. You shall bind them as a sign on your hand and they shall be as frontlets between your eyes. You shall write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. A good mother also knows, as it states in Psalms 127-3, Behold, children are a heritage from the Lord, and the fruit of the womb a reward. She knows that her children, no matter how bad or unruly they may be, are a gift and a reward from the Lord. A good mother knows, as it states in Proverbs 22-6, Train up a child in the way he should go. Even when he is old, he will not depart from it. Amen. She knows that no matter what, if she puts the foundation and teaching of God's word in her child's life, they will always come back home to the Father. No matter how far away they may stray, they will come back to what they know to be right and pleasing in God's eyes. I have strayed. I have parted. I have enjoyed my life. But when times get tough or times get rough, I always go to who I know my help comes from, and that's the Lord. And that's because of the teachings of my mother and my father. A good mother prays, teaches, and understands that although the road may not be easy, she has to look towards the hills that come her help. And her help comes from the anchor for her children and her family, which is God. The teachings of King Lemuel's mother, which comes from, I'm lifting from Proverbs, the 31st chapter. The words of the King Lemuel in an oracle that his mother taught him. No, my son, no son of my womb, no son of my vows. Do not give your strength to women, your ways to those who destroy kings. It is not for kings, O Lemuel. It is not for kings to drink wine 
or for rulers to desire strong drink, or else they will drink and forget what has been decreed, and will pervert the rights of all afflicted. Give strong drink to one who is perishing, and wine to those in bitter distress. Let him drink, let them drink and forget their poverty, and remember their misery no more. Speak out for those who cannot speak, for the rights of all destitute. Speak out, judge righteously, define the rights of the poor and need. That's um, Proverbs 31, verses 1 through 9. As a single mother, it is tough, but we all know that God puts things in our lives to make our children's lives better. There are times that we may go to bed and not even eat because we want to make sure our children have been fed. There have been times when we may go and see something that we want to purchase, but we know that our children's needs need to be met. So on this day, I want to say Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. If you're a single mother, stay strong and stay in the Lord's Word. He will get you through. When my child could have went to the left, he has stayed on the right. <coughs> and I am so proud of him. So do all that you can and pray for your children. And in these things, and I'm going to close out, Happy Mother's Day. Thank you. Thank you.